Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So as you can see, our background here is a little different, not super different, but a little different. Um, I still have something I need to put here, but we are in our new studio, our new space. Um, really, it's just my attic that I revamped for this reason. And yeah, I really like it. Though it is the same color as you can see as my other videos for the most part, because I painted it the same color as my room, which was where this setup was originally. And it's seashell gray, it's my favorite thing. I love it. <laughs> my entire house is basically seashell gray at this point. Also, we have a, we have a beanie on today because my roots are hella bad, looking rough. So, how to wear a rock a beanie in this video or we would not have made it through editing <laughs> and probably would not have posted this. And as you can see behind me too, I have, so I went to a local like, um, I don't know, like movie, video game, thrift shop type thing, like a bargain box type thing. And I got these movies. They're VHS, uh, have, basically it's like two of everything. They didn't have like the first of anything. So I have Scream 2, Jaws 2, Halloween 2. Um, I'll Scream 3, I'm lying to you. Army of Darkness and It. So yeah, and then also I got these. So I picked up these gems and it's Hostel Part 1, Hostel Part 2, Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses. I never really buy movies, like I don't really own like a lot of DVDs or anything like that because I don't like the clutter. <laughs> I don't like having, which if you've seen any of my like minimalism type videos, I just don't like having a lot of stuff, but I wanted these in particular because I love them and I wanted them as like some decor for the, my background. I'm gonna get like more stuff up here, around here, whatever. But right now I don't have it, so I don't really know what I wanna do with it, but I don't wanna not make videos just because my background isn't what I want. You know what I mean? Cause I can never, Maybe I'd never make it exactly what I want. Am I just never gonna make a video again? Negative. So here we are. Um, as you can see by the title, I want to talk about uh, my favorite or the best of Eli Roth. He is a movie director, producer. He's an actor. He actually acts in a lot of his movies, which I love that. I love that he acts in his own movies and they're good movies, they're like my favorite movies. Not, I mean, not all my favorite movies, but they're pretty good. So as we, before we delve into that, if you would please like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, well guys, we're really getting up there to like, we're getting pretty close to 900, which is, which is so crazy. Like, I feel like I reached, I've been reaching like a good like horror audience in the last like couple months and I'm really proud of that. I update, or I upload every weekend. Um, yeah, I don't, I try to make it Fridays, but sometimes stuff happens and doesn't get uploaded till Saturday or Sunday. So I just say every weekend just to be safe. I think that's everything for the beginning of this. So let's jump into these movies. Okay, these movies are in no particular order, but I will give you the movie year that was made and some kind of a little bit about what it's about and then some reasons why I think it's one of the best movies or why I love it. So we are gonna start with, I believe his first movie, uh, Cabin Fever from 20 or 2002. I love this movie. So this was actually one of like the first horror movies that I watched cause it's from 2002. I was born in 95. So it was like right around the age where I could like start like, well, not that I should have, I guess, but my cousins, you know how that whole spiel goes. Stay at your cousin's house, they have horror movies, you watch them. But I just remember like loving this movie because even though it is kind of gory, it's not like so crazy scary. I don't, I don't think so anyway. And I just love it. Like it always stuck with me, but like in a good way. And I've always loved this movie. So basically a group of, I believe college kids, like friends, they go out to a cabin in the woods and they want to spend the weekend. And there's like a deadly bacteria that's traveling around in the water and some of the local people like get it and they have run-ins with these people while they have this like crazy bacteria and it's running through the water system at the like cabin that they're living in and so they have to like deal with just getting it and all the crazy shit that happens to you and your body and your head and it's really insane so definitely watch it i i love it i love there's one scene where it's not like this one giveaway of the movie but there's just one scene where if you've seen it the chick's in the bathtub and she's shaving 
and she's in a bathtub full of this water and she's shaving and like pulls off like a layer of her skin with the razor and I just oh I, I like both cringe and love that part <laughs> like it's one of those things and it's just like one of my favorite scenes in like any movie ever so yeah definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it yet the next movie and one of my favorites actually it's two movies we're just gonna do both anyway we're gonna start with hostel one so there's hostel one hostel two and there's a third as well and i absolutely love hostel one and hospital hostel two hostel two is my favorite though it's like one of my absolute favorite movies but they're both great eli roth uh directed them i believe and also i think he was in the first one i don't know if he's in the second one but he was definitely in the first one and again i love that he's not one of the main characters he's like I don't know, I think it says like he's like one of the potheads or something <laughs> because they go to Amsterdam. So those two guys, they're going to Amsterdam for the week or for like the summer or something and they're gonna get, you know, live their life. They're gonna live their best life. They're gonna get high, get, you know, get some girls, like do, you know, all the fun stuff. They're gonna go like the red light district and all these things. But unfortunately they run into some of the wrong people and they end up being coming like I don't even know what you want to call them like basically like livestock for serial killers that's basically how I put it where you're basically just someone that someone else is buying to torture kill whatever they want to do because they're paying for you and it's kind of crazy and I, I don't know I think it's insane too because like this you know this like stuff really happens I mean is it so normal like every other person in the world no but it's pretty I mean it's definitely a thing <laughs> like that's one thing with like movies and games and stuff is like sometimes people and I'm not saying no one does but sometimes people are like oh people get ideas from these things and I'm like more likely than not the movie is coming from some true story or some type of like real like thing that happened in real life it's usually like very seldom is it the other way around where someone's getting an idea from a game or a movie that obviously happens as well but most of the time the movies are just pulling from like literal newspapers you know what i mean like things that happen every day around the world that people know of like this is like stuff that's in the news and someone just takes this crazy event or crazy events and put them into a horror movie that we all love to enjoy consume watch and just kind of take the crazy ride of kind of what it would be like to be in these actual scary like terrifying positions and we love that because we always are looking for a thrill or whatever it is that you love about horror movies so i digress but i just wanted to point that out that this is definitely one of those things i believe is based more off of reality <laughs> than it would be vice versa so hostel 2 is more so the uh, kind of reverse side instead of a couple of guys going to New Amsterdam it's a couple of women that are going to New Amsterdam from I think they're going there from like college they're like college friends or in college whatever and they go there and again they also you know same spiel they run into some of the wrong people and they end up being like livestock for serial killers but I just think number two has a fun yeah I'm gonna say fun has a fun twist at the end and I absolutely love it and it's just like ugh, I just love number two but don't go in there like be like this is the best movie in the world because you'll be like you probably won't think so <laughs> I mean it's like it's a horror movie but I just I love it I think I just love the ending I love some of the different scenes throughout it like it's just crazy the just effects and just everything and also i'm like i love gore movies like i'm here for it like give me all the gore like i love saw hostile um hatchet just everything so i'm a fan if you're not a fan of blood i would not be watching hostile just saying there you go that's your warning you're welcome and these are also in no particular order in case i didn't say that already but the next one is the green inferno now i think that this is one of those ones that people recommend as being like an intense movie and mm, there's definitely more intense movies out there in my opinion but it is pretty intense and I think Eli Roth overall is like an intense like all of his movies in my opinion are intense in one way or the other whether it's psychological gore both whatever like I think like a lot of his movies like basically every Eli Roth movie you watch is like the first half or so, maybe even the first quarter to half, is kind of getting to know the people, understanding their journey, which I think this is every movie anyway, but 
specifically him and you're kind of like okay and you feel kind of easy and you're like all right and you're just watching a nice movie and then like halfway through it just gets very intense very like uneasy like so unsettling i love it <laughs> i love eli roth movies so much you're just so unsettled so like on the cd like the side what's the one we trying to think of you're on the, the edge of your seat that's what it is off the side of your seat on the edge of your seat and you're like what what is happening what's going on and uh, it just gives me like i don't want to call it like anxiety but like that kind of like pit in your stomach like kind of tightness of your chest but not like in a bad way not like you need to go see a doctor but like you're just like ready to see like the next part like you just need that like relief at the end or to see what happens and it always just is so crazy to me i just love it like i, I think all of his movies are just like a next level and that's just in my opinion coming from you know someone who loves rob zombie movies sorry about it i love things that are on the next level like just i want you to make me go what did i just see what did i just watch like would that just really happen like that's what i want to see and i think he delivers almost every time so the green inferno this movie is so crazy and first of all it has Eli Roth's now ex-wife if I say this wrong I apologize from the depths of my soul but I'm reading Lorenza Izzo Lorenza Izzo Lorenza Izzo I think that's how you say it if it's not I'm so sorry I apologize I love her she's beautiful she's a great actress she's amazing her freaking eyeballs like <laughs> eyeballs <laughs> sorry I'm from Ohio <laughs> Anyway, her freaking eyeballs, like, and the, every movie that she does, which she does a lot of Eli, Eli Roth movies, and in The Green Inferno, like, I don't know, like, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Her eyes are just, like, they're, like, so big, but it's, like, so cute. Like, it's in the cutest way, like, love it, but it's just, she does, has these, like, big old eyes, and I love it so much. I think it's adorable, but I love her in that. She does a great job. She's, like, the main character in it. Her and some college uh, I don't know if I would really call them friends, but her and some college group, it's like an activist group, they go to the rainforest to try to stop um, a crew from demolition, dem demolishing, there we go, demolishing part of the rainforest to build, I don't know what, something there, you know, you just have to always destroy nature just to build more shit, like, don't we have enough shit in this world? Anyway, I digress. And so they're there, they do that. And as they are doing that, I don't want to give away too much, but basically they encounter a native tribe and the native tribe are cannibals <laughs> and it turns into a whole situation. Um, again, I don't want to give away too much because it's just, it's, ugh, it's a great movie. I love it. I would say there are a couple parts that made me uncomfortable and not so much uncomfortable where like I never watched it again. I watched it a couple times, but again, this movie it just it leaves you no not leaves you it gives you so much dread so an honor, honorable an honorable <laughs> sorry i literally cannot talk an honorable mention goes to daryl sabara i think it's how you say his name he plays one of the college students as well but he played in for our you 90s kids whatever spy kids <laughs> so spy kids the first spy kids is just like a little like a something about me note um, the first Spy Kids was the first movie I ever saw that I remember in theaters and I just, yeah, I always loved that movie when I was a kid and I think I watched all of them, not that it matters, I digress, but he's from Spy Kids and when I saw him I was just like, oh, I just, I love, I love seeing people, like actors, whatever that I, you know, know <laughs> in movies and I'm like, oh, that's from this movie or that's from the show or da da da, I love that, I think I tweeted that once, if you don't already a uh, shameless plug follow me on Twitter Instagram I have a Facebook page but I'm really happy over on Twitter all right I'm always doing shit I think that's all I have for the green inferno I don't want to give away too much about these movies I just want to give you a little bit of a snippet tell you what I love about it whatever tell you, you should go watch them because you should so go check that out that's actually on Netflix right now and I love it the next movie that we're gonna talk about is called clown this is, I believe, on Netflix and also on Tubi, which I love Tubi. It's free. Um, not sponsored, I wish, like you thought it was sponsored to begin with. <laughs> but, um, yes, Clown. Ugh, I love this movie. I actually try to watch it, like, because I love, we love killer clowns over here. That's what we're here for. 
um and that's what he is he's a killer clown so i tried watching this movie like two years ago and the first like i literally did not get that far into it i think i was just expecting something else as i always do and i didn't get that far into it and then i just kind of turned off and was like this is kind of dumb and then i just kept hearing people talk about it and i'm like that movie that's the movie you're talking about and so I found it, I watched it, and yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> I should have let myself get further into it. But also at the time, apparently that's not what I was looking for. I think I was looking more for like a terrifier type feel, unless of a clown type feel. Movie, basically this guy, he, his son has a birthday party. Um, the clown ditches last minute. He finds a clown suit, puts it on and does the whole show for the kids his birthday party his kids so excited he's like yes dad you're the best you're rocking the clown suit son and then he goes to take it off that night and the bitch won't come off he's stuck as a clown he cannot take it off and he goes through all these things to try and take it off and then it just kind of as every eli roth movie does it's like you kind of follow the story and you get to know people and you're like okay this is kind of weird it's kind of different cool yeah 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 and then right there in the middle it just hits you like a truck <laughs> and you're like what in the heck like what is happening what's going on i don't know i don't know what's going on and yeah and it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier and there's like really amazing scenes there's specific scenes where i'm just gonna say funfetti blood I'm here for it. I love Funfetti Blood. It's my new favorite thing. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. Don't want to give away too much about it, but you should go watch it. It's really thought the main character looks so familiar, but I googled him and I've never seen anything he else he's been in. <laughs> but he literally, he reminded me of like a doctor off of a show or something. Actually, he reminds me of the doctor um that's best friends with house in the show house that's who he reminds me of i need to look that up right now or i'm gonna forget i will put him here i'll put them next to each other and they probably won't look anything alike <laughs> but just so you can see like what's happening in my head okay i would say now that i see them they don't look they look somewhat similar basically they're both white middle-aged men with like the same haircut <laughs> so they look very similar but i will throw them here okay so we have um playing as house's best friend wilson we have robert sean leonard and playing clown in the movie we have andy powers but when i just saw him like out of a movie on a movie i thought it was him and he kind of dresses in a suit at a time before he gets into a clown suit and he kind of looked doctorish i don't know but that's what went through my head so if you see him well now you'll now to be tainted but if you've already seen the movie and you're like yeah okay i kind of know where you're, you know how you're thinking then god help you because i never know what's happening <laughs> next film the sacrament this was recommended to me from someone on twitter guys again i am always sharing almost every movie i watch on twitter literally every movie i watch on twitter um and people are always sending me recommendations and i love it so 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 much thank you so much for sending me recommendations i love watching horror movies i'll probably watch a horror movie after i'm done filming this but the sacrament by again eli roth this movie so <laughs> i should i tweeted this and i put that this movie is like a mix and this is before this was like literally like five seconds into it and i think i might have read like what it was kind of about it is like Jonestown meets the Green Inferno, and that's what you're watching. Minus the cannibalism. Maybe. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's basically this this guy, he, um, and I think that guy's played by Eli Roth. The guy, he, the main character, uh, him and his buddies, they like do like filming for different videos and stuff. And he, his sister like joined, you know, a group <laughs> and his sister's like hey you should come out here and see me and my group out here they're like in south america or something and it's out in the middle of freaking nowhere and they have like their own little like village that they live in a big group of them and so he's like okay you know whatever we'll go out we'll see you and so they go out they take the film film crew because they want to film everything that's happening and just kind of see like what's been going on how her life has been and they get there 
and they automatically get cult vibes. There are like just everywhere is cult vibes, but everyone's like, oh no, we're living the best life. Like peace, namaste, you know, like we're so cool. And again, you have the nice moment where you're kind of like getting a feel for the people and the movie and the relationships and the environment. And then all of a sudden everything just goes to freaking hell, mayhem, just craziness. Uh, you start to see, you know, the truth and the the back ends of things and all the dirtiness that they're trying to like hide because you know in cults there's always freaking abuse and corruption and everything else i mean that's just life man and so it's crazy it's a fun ride it's a crazy ride again it keeps you on the edge of your seat you're just like what is going on like what's going to happen next and i was definitely right with that tweet i would say so i tweeted that when i started watching it and i still stand to it this day that it is jonestown meets the green inferno and they just like had a baby and they came out with the sacrament and you should go watch it. I put this film out on Twitter so that I was watching this. I got very mixed reviews and I completely understand because I watched it and I have mixed feelings. So I watched Knock Knock by Eli Roth. This is on Netflix. You can go watch it. Um, it's, it's different. And I'm recommending it and I like it because of the last half of the movie. So if you get through the first half, which is not like crazy or bad, it's just like unsettling, uncomfortable, like it's a little strange. And it's a little bit of like, like it has a little like porno vibes to it in the very beginning. And I don't mean like straight, well, it does get, well, you know. If you watch it, you will see what I'm saying. Within like 15 minutes, you're already going to be like, what is happening? And then within 30 minutes, you're going to be like, what is happening? And you're getting an hour and you're going to be like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> and I love it because I had no idea what was happening the whole time. And even at the very, very last end, like the last like 15 minutes, I was like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was shook. I didn't know. It's a weird, it's a very, it's a weird it's a weird movie it's right there on the brim and but it's not like it's not like it's not gory it's more like a psychological thing and it's just kind of like I don't know it's it's weird it's a weird it's a weird concept like it was a good I think it was a good concept to throw together for a movie a horror movie and I just liked it so you might watch it and think it's boring some people thought it was boring some people thought it was really creative or really cool I thought it was really interesting and creative and it definitely made me uncomfortable at times but not like so uncomfortable like I couldn't watch it. So and again it has Lorenza Izzo. I'll correct myself if I said that wrong. I don't know how I don't know if I'm saying it wrong but I'll correct it if it's like not that name <laughs> but I believe it is. Again that's Eli Roth's ex-wife I believe. Uh, I don't think they were married for very long but she is in a lot of his movies and I just, I think she's a great actress. I love her, she's beautiful. I follow her on Twitter. Okay, so my honorable mention, I put a poll up a little while ago about like, hey, which is your favorite Eli Roth film? And I literally just Googled Eli Roth films because I'm not like a freaking movie expert. Like I just sit here in my now attic, renovated attic and talk about things that I watched. I can't remember half the shit that I've seen. I don't know how to pronounce people's names. And I don't know like who directed every single thing. So I just Googled like Eli Roth movies, knowing that like Hostel Cabin Fever, stuff like that was part of it. And one of the movies that came up was Haunt. And I was like, oh, I love this movie. If you have seen this movie, you gotta go watch it. It's really good. I literally, I love it. And I guess he was part one of the producers. He wasn't like the director. And I'm like, oh, excuse me, Twitter, you know, movie Twitter horror twitter excuse me no i only have like one or two people pointed out and it, it was, they were just like hey just so you know and i'm like okay hey thanks um so yeah it wasn't that big a video <laughs> but now i'm just like sometimes it's just like the more people i get on there not that i have so many but like the more people i get on there the more people that interact i feel like i need to be so much more aware of like what i'm posting like if something's wrong which i usually do try to look things up like i said i literally just googled it i, I didn't even think about like if he produced it or directed it or whatever it was just like haunt popped up and i was like oh i love that movie i didn't realize he was part of that you know movie like part of the situation 
So that's an honorable mention. It's not like technically one of his movies, but he produced it. He was there. He did more than I did, and I appreciate it. So you should definitely go watch it. Basically, another group of friends, a group of young, hot, you know, 25 year old friends go and they go to a haunted house. And basically, it's like, I think it's supposed to be like one of those extreme haunted houses or something like that. And they go through it, and it's extreme, all right. <laughs> like, you're, you may or may not leave without your life. And it's just, so it's a very, like, chill, definitely a Halloween type. Like, if you're having, like, if it's October and you got Halloween vibes, or if you're just me and you're just always in Halloween vibes, like, definitely one of those type of movies. I love it. It just, I love watching that along with, like, The House That Built October and, or no, The House, the, yeah, The House October Built. Sorry, my bad. And, uh, like, Hell House, LLC. There's kind of, like, these haunted house, like, type vibe movies and that's what haunt is only it's um i don't know what it is so there's found footage it's like not found footage film but those two actually are found footage films but this one's just like a regular like movie that plays out with like whatever you know what i'm saying i'm done i'm done describing that but it's a really good movie go check it out okay that is all the movies i have for you in this video thank you so much for watching uh if you would please subscribe hit the like button uh leave a comment what your favorite eli roth movie is or your favorite horror movie if you don't really give a shit who directed it <laughs> and you just want to tell me um i'm always open to recommendations follow me on twitter i'm gonna do like a twitter instagram facebook and give me your movie recommendations interact uh do whatever you want i don't give a shit so please come back though next weekend when I post. I really appreciate it. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.